Yeah, and uh, the uh, play-by-play voice for the York Institute Dragons is none other than Gary Clark of WDEB, and he joins us now on the Oak Restaurant Hotline. It is the highlight of our scoreboard show here. Rob's going to get his headphones on and get ready to go. Everybody grab your headphones. Gary Clark uh, joins the show. Welcome in, Gary. Hey, uh, thanks for having me, Dennis. I'm back. (laughs) You're you're back. And uh, tough... Tough night tonight for the Dragons. What happened? Uh, I'll tell you what. You know, the last two weeks, uh, we have seen two of the best quarterbacks ever. You know, it's getting close to Halloween, right? Uh, well, yeah. Michael My- you know, the Michael Myers Halloween thing, they've done several sequels. But we saw the Michael Myers of our future tonight because uh, the quarterback for the Cap Can, the freshman, Stephen Jennings, threw for 220 yards and three touchdowns. And, York put up another big goose egg as we lost 34 to nothing down here at the Cavs. Is his name really Michael Myers? I uh, know it should be, though, because he slashed through us like a bunch of teenagers at a slumber party. <laughs> Oh, great line. Gary Clark, WDEV, joins us. Uh, uh, Gary, I, I know I, I'm, I'm afraid to ask it right now, but uh, surely there was some bright spots for York Institute tonight, right? Well, York had a good, you know, played a good game. They had a good rushing. They had over 100 yards rushing the football. A little good at times, but uh, they just could not stop the, uh, stop the uh, Tigers' attack and and York seemed to stall. They couldn't get inside the 20-yard line, and the Tigers, every time they got the ball, with the exception of about two or three times, they were scoring like Suzanne Summers. <laughs> oh, uh, the game was played in uh, DeKalb County. Did you have any uh, permanent hearing loss from the from the train horn? Hey, I'll tell you what, times we were over with, that's all I'll hear for the next week is train horns. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Good stuff. Uh, who you got next week? Well, luckily we've got the uh, team that everybody likes to get. It's called Open. Yeah. What do you and, uh, What well, do you know about them? Well, well uh, we can probably maybe stop their passing attack. I'm not sure. <laughs> you You face two good quarterbacks though, and and that's got to help. Other than the fact that they're so young, uh, it's got to help you. Uh, uh, it's got to help you as you as you close out the season, right? That's true. Uh, of course, you know, we've got two weeks we go to Cannon County, and then we got Livingston at Livingston, so we go on the road for the last two games. You know, we, we still got a shot. If we can ever get enough kids healthy to play, we would uh, probably have, have a good shot at winning some of these. But I think, uh, you know, we got a good shot at the last two, and if we end up 5-5, five and five, who knows? Uh, maybe they get us a playoff bid. If not, we'll call our postseason basketball season. <laughs> Great stuff, Gary. Uh, uh, Pito, you got anything? No, I'm I'm good. You just you, you just, just taking it in. Just taking it I all just, in. Yeah, that, it in. That's what we do, buddy. Hey, I uh, appreciate you very much, Gary. Uh, I'm gonna miss you next week unless you want to call in and work on some new material. Oh, okay, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try to do that. <laughs> all right, Gary Clark, WDEB, joining us. Thanks, Gary. Hey, uh, thanks, Dennis. Like a late Kevin supporter, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want. I want to hear him call a game one time. He's got to be like the Bob Euchre of high school football. He really does. He really does. Uh, the scoreboard is filling up quickly. I think there's about five scores that we are not. Uh, we do not have updated just yet. You can check it out at our website, FridayNightThunder.com. <laughs>